one of the issues I'm having right now is all I have are skinny jeans. I'm rushing to get all this stuff done because I gotta be there in about half an hour. One thing I forgot to do is prep. So I gotta make sure that next time I have all my jeans washed and go, we'll see how this goes. I'm on my way right now to the first meeting of the day. It literally looks like I have skinny legs. If I can make a sale in skinny pants and you guys can do anything. Wish me luck. Day nine, woo! Just running late, so I'm running fast again. Just got out of my first meeting today. Two bins filled with bike parts, chains, and anything that you can imagine. So I'm definitely gonna take a look at it. We'll go from there. So I just got off the phone with one of the scrap metal yard people. I was talking to him about like bike parts. And he said, yeah, that's fine. That work, you're not gonna get much for it. But I mean, we might get something for it. And that's the thing. While we're starting out, we don't wanna waste our time. We don't wanna go for projects that aren't making a lot of money. I got the job if I want it. It's two meetings, two jobs secured. I'm on my way to the third meeting right now. I'm gonna quote him on spot. See what he wants to do. We'll see if I can go for three for three. We're nine days in the business. I have new contacts. I have people that I'm meeting, hopefully they give me referrals but also i'm making some money which is awesome and that's what a business is meant for wish me luck day 10 let's go today we're gonna focus on building out as many call lists as possible one of the biggest things for a new business is trying to get your name out the best way to do that is cold call as much as possible find new contacts booking out meetings yesterday we had two successful meetings we have one client where we're gonna go pick up a bunch of scrap metal drive that all the way over to the scrap metal yard we'll get some money for it and then another he is going away for the next two to three weeks so we're gonna follow up with him in march so we have essentially three contacts Contacts. I'm gonna film when I go to pick up all that stuff when we go to the dump. The next thing is just trying to get out to as many people as possible. So I'm gonna put out an ad today on Facebook Market. I'm also gonna do some Kijiji ads. I spoke with a guy yesterday about Google search, like SEO. Right now it's way out of our budget, so we're gonna push that for maybe a couple months to kind of see how business goes. Right now we are building out a Kijiji ad. It's gonna cost us $30. We're gonna test this out only for seven days. See if we can get traction from it. If we can get one or two buyers, and then this is worth it. And then we just run monthly ad. We're gonna see if we can get any hits on it. All I'm adding is my logo and my flyer. So we'll see if people get interested. I have a folder on my computer that's the Clear Out Co folder. In that folder it has all my marketing materials, email templates, my expenses. So every time I spend any money for the business, I print out the receipts, put them into a folder, and in that folder it has all of the money that I've spent. So I know how much money I put in the business. So that's everything from hats, ad, my driving, my meetings, pretty much everything you can expense. And then when it comes time for tax day, then you can expense those things. It just sets you up for success. You do the little stuff right now so that when you're getting really really busy you have a system that works we're gonna make some money so that we can pay off all the expenses and then eventually you'll see us from one employee to a couple employees Watch this podcast, it's about a guy who's 22 years old, was working construction, was tired of his nine to five gig, so he started doing junk removal as a side hustle. From that, he made 10K his first month, and he quit his job, went full in, his company's called Slam Dunk and Junk. It was really, really cool. It was one of the things that got me interested in the junk removal business, but also listening to like motivational podcasts is really the main thing that's pushed me in the direction of starting my own business. Thank you guys so much for following me along on my journey. We've almost been at this for about two weeks now we're gonna grind it out we're gonna make lots of money and we're gonna make lots of contacts because contacts equal contracts the more hands you shake the more money you make so let's get after it and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning day 11